Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like and subscribe if you like the content. In the last video we had a little problem with the tile map or the tile sheet. No, the tile map, right? It's called the tile map. Basically the problem was we weren't updating the max world size F. And that was kind of at the end of the video, so hopefully you saw that. But I just want to make sure that you know we changed that right here. Uh, and if you don't have this, we can't really use it in game state. Where we use it here to limit the view from going outside of the world. Now, once we have that, that's all nice and dandy. We Actually, it's in load from file right here. Yeah, right here. There you go. That's how it looks. Anyway, uh... Once that's done, what we need is we need actually, we do need a constructor that loads from a file. So we don't want a constructor that um, just, you know, takes a texture file height width and stuff. We want to be able to load it from a file directly. And to do that, we're going to construct a new constructor and it's going to look like this. I'm just going to put it right below here tile map I'm gonna call it well tile map it has to have the same name uh, and we need a const std string string file come on string file name very simple just like the load from file function has so I just want to make sure that it is a const std string yes it is and once that's done we're just gonna do this. And it's gonna be a little different from load to file, although, <sighs> well, you know what we're gonna do, actually? The thing is load from file calls clear, all right? And we don't need to clear stuff when we don't have anything in it yet. And what this constructor does, let's just see what it does here. So it, it kind of resizes everything, makes everything work. I don't think clear does that. Clear doesn't do that. This actually resizes everything. So you're going to need these things here. Let's copy those. Let's see, everything else seems to be fine. Mm, we're loading the texture file as well. All right, that might be important. The collision box as well. So pretty much all this stuff we're just going to put into that new constructor like that. And let's go look at load from file. So to be 100% sure, we need to just check it out. So what it does is just opens something up, opens the file up, kind of gets the texture file, clears everything. Oh, it does load the texture file though, so we don't need to do that. It loads all the tiles from the file after that. Oh, it does resize. Hold up. It, do, it does do that. Wait, I'm dumb. Okay, it does do that. This is all the basic stuff. All right, you know what? It's always good to check and just make sure. So now both of us are sure and we're good to go. So let's go to that this one right here. We can actually keep that. We don't need to do this then. We don't need to load this. We do want our... Uh, collision box though all right so we're just gonna you know keep keep track of that um, this load from file file name and it's just gonna take care of mostly everything for us excluding these though we want to set those to zero um, you know what the collision box can be above doesn't really matter uh, this Let's see. No, that's why I had it at the bottom. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I'm a little off today. I'm sorry about that. This grid size, grid size F. This grid size F, this grid size F. So once that's done, we're good. Now we have a little collision box. We have everything. So if, to test if this works, let's go into our game state and let's just remove this whole thing all right and let's say this tile map 
equals new tile map using this file. And I don't know why I did that. Get the hell out of here. All right, there we go. Let's run this. Let's see if this works. Because this would make a lot of, a lot of you know, problems go away in the future. Now, that did not work. Okay, so the problem seemed to be in the clear function. Basically, kind of this one and the load from file. So what's happening is that the max size world grid is being set by the load from file. And before it's set, it's undefined. So both of those are kind of kind of problematic well it's not really technically undefined because it's zero from the vector 2i so if we run clear before we run this it should be fine but the problem is the problem still it's it's kind of a dirty fix so what i want to do is i want to make sure clear only runs if the map is not empty so if this map dot empty all right is not empty then we're going to run the clear. Otherwise, it's not going to be run. And that's a good fix, I think, because, I mean, the problem with doing it this way when setting uh, or setting this or leaving it alone is if it was undefined by sub for some reason, uh, it wouldn't be a valid fix. And that, I call that a dirty fix. I don't like that. Uh, so this is a clean fix. This will probably work in every situation, hope, hopefully. Uh, so if we run this now, it should work. So it's not going to clear it because it is empty from the start. Whoops. Yeah, so it did work. All right, so it didn't clear it. It's all good. We're good. Uh, and the game works just as it should. Now, I might be a little laggy because of my OBS and some, uh, some printing data. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We're good to go. Now, the next step in our game after fixing this little issue is probably going to be making some kind of a weapon class. Now, I don't know, we can start wherever we want. We can start with the inventory. We could start with whatever the hell we want. But pretty much choosing one place to start is better than anything, right? So I know a lot of you probably want to do the inventory and all that stuff, but I think making the items first is a little better and it probably more fun as well. Then we can put it in an enemy and try to attack the enemy and stuff. So that's going to be pretty cool. So just to start that off, let me just make a new add a new filter here and we're going to call it items or item and then we're going to add a new filter within that we're just going to call it melee weapon all right melee weapon 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 there we go melee me is that is that spelled correctly i don't think it is no melee weapon there we go all right good shit and then we're going to probably add a ranged weapon class here um all right so pretty much pretty much something like that and then probably armor and stuff like that but anyway working like this we can create several types of weapons with their specific with specific functionality so pretty much here what i'm going to start off by doing is creating a class just calling it item generic item class no base class virtual destructor okay so we're going to have this item class and I'm just going to do the regular if and def uh, item h define item h you know the regular and if item dot h like that something like that and we have our item cpp which includes the stda effects um, all the pre-compiled headers and we're good to go. So we have our item class. We can go on from here, public. Let's create the private section here. There we go. All right. But I think I'll leave it at that for this video. And in the next one, we're probably going to work a little bit with the item class, do some thinking, see where everything fits and then make a general, probably melee weapon class. And from there, we can derive, uh, bow, you know, like sword, spear and stuff like that. So that's going to be pretty cool. But there you go. I'm just going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something. Check out the description box. You got uh, all the nice links down there. Also, consider joining Discord because we all sit around there. Where everyone is talking, you know, and, and we kind of hang out there. Um, and if you have any questions, you can ask me there or anyone else. Uh, we'll gladly help you. Uh, so there you go. 
Thanks. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye bye.